Amici is known for casual Italian food and Father Colomo was able to really start that. I'm Paolo Moran, I'm the executive chef of Amici. It started off as a cafeteria and of course he wanted to just cook what he knew. So being an Italian himself, he shared Italian food with the people of Don Bosco. There were a lot of dishes actually that were from Father Colomo himself. Of course, I don't want to take away from his legacy. I actually want to continue on from there. For me, it's all about finding dishes that would work with the original menu, plus marry also some new innovations, some new ideas. So when I come up with new dishes, I try to make something. I try to make something that I think family and friends would like. For the seafood Diablo, it's a very simple dish, but I think it fits the casualness of Amici. Plus, I add a personal touch of going a little extra spicy, just so that it's something that people can also enjoy, the same way that I do. The Il Supremo is kind of... I guess it's, it's like a lot of the dishes that I wanted to come up with originally. It's a marrying of Italian and Filipino culture together. And that's, that's what, what the Michi is. Hello! Hello, Pocharis! Good evening! Kamusta, Pocharis? Nakapag-share ka na ba? Good evening, Food for Life! Yun! Yeah. Sharing, sharing pa Sharing, po. sharing, sharing mode tayo, no? Uh, good evening po sa lahat, no? Nandito po tayo sa ating 100 Football Life episode, no? Partner, grabe! So, nasa season 4 na po kami at ngayon po ang aming uh, last episode for season 4. No? At uh, magbe-break muna po tayo at uh, magkikita-kita po ulit tayo next year. Ayan. So, ang guest natin partner ay classmate mo. Ayan. So, uh, yes. ipakilala mo naman yung ating Sa itong guest. Ano, uh, champion coach yes. sa recent na ano. Uh, ang susunod no no need for introduction ano kilala naman ito sa Philippine football although hindi siya talaga taga rito yes. pero mapapasabak tayo sa English siya ayun na naman tayo yung pinaka last episode natin sa season 4 ay uh, English siya na naman no so, ay uh, ngayon medyo maganda siguro may share din niya yung uh, journey no at the same time yung uh, preparation nila no syempre yung mga challenges no nitong covid no tapos nag uh, AFC rin sila no nagcompete din sila last august no and then of course yes. yung composition ng team niya right now at uh, yung ano ba yung mga pina, ano yung mga ginawa nila no kung paano sila nag-adapt dito sa setup ng uh, pandemic no yung training no? yung online at everything eh siya na yung magkwento kung paano niya ginawa yun ayan so, i-admit na natin partners. So again, good evening po sa lahat ng kasama namin dito, no? At uh, shout out po sa lahat ng mga nandiyan, no? Thank you very much for being with us. No, kung kayo po ay nanonood right now, i-share niyo po yung ating uh, uh, live, no? Para po mapanood natin yung champion coach, no? Na all, from Japan, no? All the way from Japan to partner. So, hindi na natin patagalin. Sa lahat po na nanonood dyan, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-like and follow ng Football Life page, no, please do so. And mga replays, no, pwede nyo po panoorin sa Coach Mike TV and Aris TV. So, nandyan po yung mga recorded videos pag hindi nyo po napanood yung mga previous episodes namin. Ayan, so, i-welcome na natin, partner, yung yes. champion coach from Japan at a head coach ng Kaya FC Iloilo, no, Coach Yu Hoshide. Yeah. Hello Coach Yu So yan, sa mga nanonood po right now no, Share-share tayo para makakuha na naman tayo ng tip Pero medyo English po ito no? uh, Please bear with us Yo, no? Sinimulan ka na partner ha? Ikaw, Good evening hello, coach. coach Good evening Coach Good evening. Yu Good evening How are you Coach? I'm okay I'm in Japan right now. Oh, you're is it, at is home, it very eh? cold there, coach? Yeah, it's lamig. Malamig. 
Uh, are you with your girlfriend there or she's here in the Philippines? I'm alone. You're alone. alone. <laughs> <laughs> you define alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, coach, until when you're going to stay there for your uh, vacation? So, anytime that you're going to go back here for your training? Actually, we really don't know anything about schedule. Depends on schedule for PFL next year. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, something for us to really uh, wait. But for now, because we are on break, we are very grateful for you to... Uh, give us this opportunity to have an interview because we really wanted to present you to our Filipino coaches and players. Uh, we've been doing this starting uh, last year when the lockdown started just so we can get to know the coaches, the players. And actually, you are the luckiest. This is our 100th. Uh, episode. Episode. So imagine we already have 100 uh, wow. coaches. Podcasts. 100 coaches, 100 players, and then some stakeholders of football, Coach you. And actually, this is our last episode for season four. No, when we go back next year, we'll be resuming again season five. No, but I think you know, pandemic is not yet over. So I think me and Coach Aris will still be doing this, no, for uh, Philippine football. Yeah. So, so how are you there, Coach? Hmm? How are you now in Japan? It's okay, just quarantine, still quarantine. Oh, you're on quarantine. So, yeah, but when did you home. travel? When did you travel there? Uh. 26 November 26 I came back oh, here. Okay. Then two weeks home quarantine. Oh, uh, two weeks. Two days. Two days more. Two, two days, days more, more and you're free. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you are you familiar with our podcast? We're in we. This is not just a mere interview ah. we are going to let you share with us your football life story going back to your childhood your playing experiences and then going to your recent uh, coaching career in the country in the philippines okay okay so even the photos you might be you might be shocked later. I'll be posting some of your pictures, huh? So, uh, actually, partner, we, we asked permission already with you, no, to, to get some of the photos for for uh, sharing. And actually, coach you, um, in this episode, uh, please bear with us, no, because we usually speak Tagalog in our uh, podcast, no. So, me and Coach Aris reserve a lot of English for this uh, interview. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so can we start by uh, going backwards? So do you remember uh, how you started uh, playing football? Who encouraged you? Uh, we know that Japan is uh, uh, very much advanced when it comes to football. But let's try to let you share to go back on how uh, the great you Hoshide started to play football okay so yeah. the the one that you really remember da <laughs> okay yes, coach yeah. you let's start yep uh, when i was 5 years old i started football oh. because of the anime we have you know the captain tsubasa that's actually really favorite all over the country, even Europe, even South America. Everybody watch that anime. Oh, <laughs> that's why I started football five years old. 
Is 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 that uh, uh, how how was this? Was your family really into football, or it's just you watching that anime and then you tried to follow what you've been yeah. uh, watching? Actually, my family never play football. <laughs> okay, All, but my neighbor play football. That's why. It's like he's like a queer neighbor. Oh, okay, okay. So he teach me how to play football. He was like six years older than me. So maybe around 11 years old that time. Mm -hmm. So he's the one who bring me to play football. Uh, by the way, where in Japan are you uh, staying? Or uh, I'm from Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh, oh yeah. city. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so from there, from then on, you, when your neighbor started teaching you, you continued playing football? Or was there an academy that you joined? Or just a school? Uh, it's like when I already, uh, six years old, I started play academy. But that Academy is really, really big academy. Like <clears throat> same batch is more than 100 players, 100 kids. Mm. So which meaning until sixth grade we have. Yeah. So more than 600 people, same class. Wow, so when when you were on that academy coach you, um, it's is it a matter of level when like for example leveling for every kids that you undergo for every coach uh they have a uh, like like a team b team c team until i don't know until but eight eight team maybe around 20 players then we always play 11 versus 11 that generation Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so I think, uh, Coach, you know, you, you were introduced in a very, very young age, you know, playing the sport and uh, coming from a friend uh, teaching you to be in a sport, you know, when, when you were engaged in a sport, is it that the, your parents were the ones bringing you to the academy also? Very, they are supporting you all the way? Yeah, but actually I'm the one who said, oh, <laughs> I'm the one who say I want to play football. So, but of course, PRN always support me. Okay, before we jump on to your uh, professional uh, playing career, can you mm -hmm. give us uh, a comparison of how you were growing up as uh, a youth player? Because I think you've seen how the Philippines is doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a big difference or during your time then, is it similar? Uh, not all were given the opportunity, but it's, it's somewhat uh, you, a player who's really being persistent or maybe a coach who is really very good into coaching. Can you give a comparison between you growing up in Japan and observing how the country is uh, doing on youth level? Mm. Uh, first of all, when elementary school, when I was elementary school, of course I joined football club, but didn't think about too much football, football, football. Sometimes coach teach us baseball, coach teach us other sports. That's why then after that we can choose continue to play football or going to another sport, baseball, basketball, volleyball. At least maybe around six to seven, eight years old. Most important thing is play sport something. Not only football, 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 football. Play another sport, trying to do something different, just different. running, marathon, everything we did. 
Okay, so it's it's quite similar on how we really uh, do things. But uh, now that you are already part of an academy and joining uh, youth uh, tournaments, we we know that Japan is really uh, very intense in their program. Can you then uh, remember when you started to take football seriously? Because you mentioned that you tried other sports, baseball, mm -hmm. other events. But then, how did you know that football really is your sport? I think when I became junior high school, like was 13 years old, I that's the time I already wanted to be football player. So what other sports coach you that you engage in aside from football? Can you share coach what are the sports that you went to? I tried baseball, basketball, also table tennis. Yeah, some something like this. But if if you're going to choose before like for example football is your number 1, what would be your number 2 sport? after football actually i wanted to be a baseball player mm. yes because, because baseball is bigger than football that generation in japan yes until I, I now think... coach until now i think so it's oh, like no. same yeah uh, i think uh, it's 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 uh, somewhat uh, basketball here in the philippines we're in it's our number one sport. For Japan, I think mm -hmm. you have their baseball, right? Yeah. yeah. And football is uh, the one trying to catch up uh -huh. and trying to uh, be the number one sport. So it's baseball. Uh, now, can we go now to your playing experience? Uh, were you part of uh, the national youth team before or you just went straight to a club and then uh, tried to play the outside Japan? What's your uh, experience before? Uh, I was not, I never been like national player, even under category. Then mm, high school, Junior high school and high school, I went to different academy. Mm -hmm. Then I went to university. After university, I go to semi-professional in Japan, like third division that time. Mm -hmm. Then after eight years, I went to US. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so how many, how many years, or is it season? In US, US is only one season I played. Mm. And after that, coach, where did you? Uh, where is your next destination after US? After US, I went to Trinidad and Tobago. This picture. Oh, okay, okay. So that's your longest stint, coach, uh, when you went to Tr Trinidad, yeah. So yeah. when when you played there, coach, uh, how can you compare the, your your game, no, in Japan, for those countries that you've been to, like U.S. and Trinidad, or if you are going to say about how the game is played in those uh, countries? I think most highest highest level was Trinidad and Tobago. Always high intensity, always physical game. Then I played CONCACAF Champions League there. Same as Asian Champions League, mm -hmm. that's Champions League. Oh, okay. So uh, during your stay in Trinidad and Tobago, you've been playing around uh, with that. And then yeah. what's the next, uh, uh, next country that you played for? After Trinidad and Tobago, I played India. Oh, okay. So, India. And uh, how, how was that? Uh, from U.S. 
Trinidad and Tobago. Do you have a manager? Because uh, 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 we're not. I when I I went to India, I had an agent. But when I went to Trinidad Tobago, just my friend introduced me that club. Oh, your friend is uh, a Japanese playing there. Yeah. No, no, Trinidadian. Oh, okay. oh, okay, okay. Because of I went, I was in US. Then that Trinidadian played in US. Oh, okay, okay. So, coach, you know, during that uh, stint, were in from US, then you moved to Trinidad, no? Um, yeah. Is that during that time that? Uh, do you consider your um, experience uh, enough already moving from U.S. towards that uh, division wherein you told us that it's a really higher level you know, when you going to compete there? Actually, I didn't mind the level because I didn't know which country I can play. Because of just when I play U.S., I was really happy, but... Suddenly, I cannot play because of I was not enough. So I have to look for another club. That's the time my friend introduced me, go to Trinidad Tobago. So I didn't know anything about Trinidad Tobago, but I have to take it that this opportunity. Wow. How okay. old did you coach, coach you that time when you were uh, playing there for six years, your uh, international career, your club career? How old are you then? Sorry, sorry, again. How old you? How old you? How, how old are you when you were playing in Trinidad? Already 32, 31, 32. Yeah, very mature, no? So, so uh, I think uh, Coach Aris, uh, Coach you is. Uh, Traveled uh, in a country where in uh, football is very very evident, no, very very popular. So this picture, coach, where is this? Who is this? This guy? is this is US. I played. Oh, okay. okay, but but here on on the right side, when you're wearing yellow, this is in the Philippines already, right? Yep. Uh, but can we talk also when you were in India? How many seasons did you play there? Actually, actually, I played only around two months only because of that this playoff. Uh, I played second division for promoted playoff, just tournament. Ah, okay, okay. Then from India. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where's the next uh, country? Is it Philippines already? Yeah, Philippines. Okay, can we can we discuss now? How how did you get to come here? Who invited you, or is it a tryout, or uh, you have a manager? Actually, that's the time Japanese manager asked me to play in Philippines Global. That's the time Global also looking for. Uh, experienced player. Uh -huh. mm. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, this is JPV day, so. Yes, this is JPV. Then global. Can can we now ask a more uh, broader question with your experience from US, Trinidad, and Tobago? Mm -hmm. Uh, India and now Philippines with those four countries uh, how would you compare is it in US wherein you have the highest level or Trinidad and Tobago yeah Trinidad and Tobago at highest level I played oh so that's that's like the peak of your career right yeah yeah Oh, okay. If, uh, if Kocharis, if we can ask, no, um, because you went also in the Philippines uh, to play coach you, can you also classify it like how the professionalism is when you had in Trinidad, Tobago, 
and when you when you move into the Philippines, is there a big gap when it comes to the the professional side of the game? Mm. To be honest, 2011, I came to the Philippines. That's why I'm talking about 2011. That's the time football was not really, really professional. Not like now. It's like because of we don't have field for training. So I don't know when we will have a training. Not every day. But wow. now I can I can say we can training every day because of we have training field. That's why uh, there, this 10 years, I think Filipino football also really growing up. That's why if compared to 2011 Philippines and Trinidad and Tobago, it's really different. Uh -huh. the, the timing, you know, because you were here 20, 2011 and you know, yeah. it's 2010 when our national team was yeah, able okay. to yeah. uh, showcase yeah. our capability. Uh -huh. So it's it's uh, I think you're able to witness how the football uh, progressed in the mm -hmm. Philippines. So that's that's uh, a good uh, observation. So mm -hmm. my sec my next question will be on the players. I think you've mm -hmm. seen also. Uh, you played with Filipino players. You played with foreign players because you yourself is uh, from Japan. Uh, how would you how would you describe the Filipino local players? I mean, I think yeah. Filipino local players. Com let's say compared to Japanese players, I think um, physical level is really high. Filipino players. Mm. Even now, Kaya players, physical level, mentally is really strong. But sometimes, lack of concentration, lack of, uh, lack of tactics, that's uh, for me a problem. But physical level, one versus one, it's really strong even compared to Japan. So, Coach, uh, you mentioned the, the characteristics of this Filipino no, players when it comes to the game. So, do you think that if um, maybe during the time that you were playing, no, compare it to how you will see the Filipinos, do you think that uh, during your time that you are playing in Japan and uh, how the players are playing right now, do you think that it's really the big gap that you can see when it comes to the level on how uh, we are able to play the game? I think not so big gap right now. Just small details. Filipino players have to fix. But really small details. But that is, we can get on the game experience that's why kaya players get game experience especially champions league so they learn even let's say only one second if players didn't focus we will consider goal even one mistake one position mistake that's really small thing small detail but otherwise other other side Physical side, it's no problem. Before before we discuss more on your uh, club, especially Kaya, no, joining the Champions League. Can we can we go back because you already uh, played uh, at your peak, and then you are now coaching. So uh -huh. can we also ask how how? What's the transition from playing to coaching? Is it really your plan to become a club coach? Or you just decided when you felt that, oh, I'm already old 
I I wanted to coach already. So can you share on that uh, part also on how you uh, decided to become a coach? Yeah, actually yes. Uh, actually, when I was player, of course I I wanted to play as long as I can. But yes, sometimes mentally tired. Physically tired. Physically tired meaning some injured, sometimes pain, sometimes hard. That's why I decide to to be coach. Coach, uh, yes. so I think uh, if I can remember, uh, you also had did like a coaching role, like a player role, uh, like I player coach role in when you were in global is that right coach is that point no. when you started already to to think of coaching actually i never think about i will be coach before <laughs> i'm not type of like coach i was not thinking but now yes enjoying yeah no choice as well <laughs> <laughs> uh. And even even in JPV, I think you're you you have a role of a, a playmaker, and at the same time, very much involved in in somewhat coaching, because I think you have a Japanese uh, manager that time, and yeah. then you were given the task to really lead, and then make some crucial decision. So was there was was it helpful also? We're in. Oh, I think uh, I can do also good into coaching, and in relation to that, is is that also one reason why you took up a coaching course? Because that's <laughs> where we we really met. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the JPV time. Yes, I I learn. Actually, I learn how to manage the club. Then mostly Japanese and half Japanese and the Filipino we had. Then Coach Dan Padelna also helped, especially Filipino side, Filipino player side. Because of if I speak Japanese a lot to Japanese player, it's not good as well. Yeah. That's why balance so that it was he really helped me. Actually, that that moment, coach, you know that uh, you were able to uh, put out the Filipino players and then the Japanese players. Uh, is there a moment, coach, you were in the? You mentioned that the small details that you were looking up to players, the ability to really compete, you no, know, in higher level. So in that time, because it was a long stint also when you were in Jap JPB, right, coach? So yeah. were you able to arrest that uh, small details that you were mentioning regarding the players? Yeah, of course. That's why maybe Filipino players feel like I'm always saying too much. <laughs> but I have to tell all the time, small details, small details, small details. Can we can we ask you on your experience on our previous course because uh, we both attended the PFFA diploma. Uh, mm -hmm. You all you also attended courses back in Japan. Uh, what were your uh, observations or maybe reflection? Is it uh, really different? Or most likely, it's similar approach in coaching. Well, except the language, because in Japan, oh, yeah. <laughs> you speak your own. But I Actually, mean in general. I, I took B license in Japan long time ago, like more than 10 years ago. So I cannot compare generation right now. Ah, okay. <laughs> because of that generation, didn't have laptops. So they didn't have to use laptop. <laughs> uh, so that's that's. I think that's one 
one big uh, difference the yeah. use of technology because right now everyone is using uh, laptop and then the yeah. video camera for the match analysis so uh -huh. maybe any 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 sharing from this batch because mm -hmm. uh, we really learned a lot from you we really enjoyed the course also what was your uh, experience during our course last time yeah actually i also really learned a lot especially how to manage the filipino player because of my i'm japanese player uh, i'm japanese japanese coach but same like <laughs> i'm coaching filipino player filipino club so i have to learn how filipino coaches handle organize that's i really learn oh, okay. sometimes sometimes japanese are really strict mm. that's why if i really do strict to players all the time Maybe Filipino players will not follow me anymore. That's right. That balance. So you were able to identify the right words, coach you for your players, no? especially the Filipinos, on how to address them the right way. I I hope yes. I don't know. Okay. So let's let's now go back to your experience with Kaya. Because... Partner, okay. partner, before we go there, maybe you, we can give the game first for Coach Yu. Ah, okay. Yeah. Coach Yu, we have a game, no? this uh, okay. Kwentong Kaluk Alike, somewhat uh, the, a, a person that can uh, somewhat uh, look looks the same with you. No? So we'll be giving... Uh, clues for our viewers for them to make a guess because uh, if they were able to make a guess even you coach if you are able to get it right uh amici and karamiya will be giving gift certificate no courtesy of uh, sir danny moran no? our uh, sponsor from uh, amici and karamiya so this is a game that we wanted to share to you coach you and our uh, football life viewers coach Alice will be giving we we try to look for a uh, look alike among our guests and then if the the facebook viewers will try to uh, guess who is your look alike they will get the gift certificate or even you you can also be part of the game okay 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 so our clues because uh we tried to look for uh, a Japanese <laughs> like of uh, you. Uh, is a national player of Japan. He played for uh, your country uh, way back in uh, 1990s, I think. And he's a popular midfielder. Okay. Uh, I think you have an idea because uh, we took that uh, from your Facebook account. But we will try to wait for the guests, uh, our Facebook guests, if uh, uh, viewers, if they can guess. If not, you will be given a chance to make to your make guess. guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's our look alike game. So let's move on to Kaya FC experience. How did you get to Kaya? Uh, because uh, from Global uh, and then JPV and then uh, you did you play for Kaya or you went straight as uh, coach. coaching staff? Coach. Yeah, straight to coaching staff. Ah, okay, okay. Can we go back uh, there and then? Were you able to really adjust? to become uh, part of the coaching staff or you need to attend the coaching course so that you will be very confident to handle the club. Can you share also because uh, the coaches also would want to become like you. 
Uh, yes, first of all, from players to coach, it's really difficult to transition. Honestly. That's why I first uh, I was assistant coach. Uh, coach Noel was head coach. That's why I, I also learned from Coach Noel a lot. The, first of all, it, it's better don't think about I was player. Oh. I, I started coach now, so I have to be coach. No pride, no anything. That's most important. Because of, it's like first year coach. When when you went to Kaya coach, you know, uh, because uh, you mentioned that you were an assistant coach during that time. That uh, you were you mentioned that the head coach that time was Coach Norel. So, um, um, what is your main no main role as uh, the assistant coach during that time with Coach Norel? Uh, in the in training, mostly I'm the who took. Warm up, also ball touch it, sometimes rondo. The main training is warm coach noise. But sometimes coach noise wanted to observe all players. So that's the time I'm the who took all. But I have to follow his philosophy. Mm -hmm. When because we asked you about the Filipino players. How about the Filipino coaches that you've been work with? Have you seen uh, somewhat uh, similarity with Japanese coaches or you've seen... Uh, uh, Something different. Let's say, uh, what are the strengths of uh, Filipino coaches that you've... Uh, notice and what were the weaknesses or somewhat uh, things that you observe like uh, bad habits that you would want to share here i think filipino compared to filipino coach and japanese coach filipino coach is more friendly kindly to the player because of when i play in japan or we cannot talk to coach right away it's like a little bit afraid. That's why assistant coach always talk to assistant coach, assistant coach, assistant coach. Assistant coach is always middle, in the middle, between coach and between player. That's really different. Mm -hmm. In your in your approach with Kaya, are you doing doing that approach also because you mentioned the head coach and assistant i have here a picture you have here an assistant coach so do you do the same or you follow the filipino style wherein you are very much open to the players actually this is goalkeeper coach coach lando ah, okay, okay. We, we don't have we didn't have assistant coach this year mm. so that's why a little bit balanced Sometimes I speak, but inside the field, more strict. Outside the field, more friendly. Oh, okay. So you, you, it means that so coach you're, you... So you're uh, a balance, huh? Adapted already. <laughs> coach, you adapted already. No? Based from the what he saw in the course, no? Based from the characteristics yeah. of Filipinos, no? And, uh, but uh, I think, Coach, you know, uh, because maybe when you were in Japan... The composition of the coaches is also there now wherein you have enough coaches on your staff now wherein you can really designate the the task of each coaches yeah. no but considering maybe uh, what you have right now with kaya now you mentioned that uh, you don't have an assistant coach that can do that but if you have if you have that uh, luxury coach you that you have an uh, extra coach or i mean assistant coach are you going to do that also, coach? Wherein the assistant coach will be the middleman before the head coach? Uh, of course, depends. Depends. But suddenly I cannot change again. Because of if next year we have 
assistant coach. Then suddenly I I will be straight. Other players will say what? Suddenly coach change. Mm-hmm. So maybe continue same. Mm-hmm. Okay, on on our podcast we have the the half time, ano? We if you noticed we we put the real talk but uh, actually we're just curious ano we will be asking you about your uh, about your salary <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, because uh, although you it, it's up to you if you will not share the exact uh, amount but Uh, you experience playing for other countries in US in Trinidad and Tobago in India and now with uh, with our clubs here in the country uh, mm-hmm. being a player we're asking first uh, as a player uh, is it uh, really is it really that uh, different uh, is it is there really a big gap? or difference playing for US you have uh, really a bigger salary playing for Trinidad and Tobago and other areas because I think you have uh, that uh, personal experience because we only hear from social media from football news the amount and the uh, salaries of these uh, big time yeah. professional players can you share your experience Uh, how how was it? Because coming from Japan, playing for other countries. Yes, actually, that is let's say 10 years ago, right? That's why a little bit yes, difference, yes. maybe now between now and 10 years ago. But if 10 years ago, when I play India, India was better than other country. Wow. But. They will ask foreigners, really big performer. Even one game, two games, it players shit. So I cannot play. <laughs> Kick out anyone. Oh. Even even no go back to fly ticket, they will not buy for me. <laughs> oh, it's really different, no? The look alike. So the clue, the clues are. Uh, he is a Japanese. Superstar, he played for Japan for I do not know how many World Cup, and he is a midfield uh, attacking midfield player. Do you have an idea who that uh, look alike uh, of uh, yours? Is it Toshi Nakata? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Coach Yu. So you will be the winner of this uh, Amici and uh, Karamia, no? Coach Yu. Uh, <laughs> When you come back, no, you'll be. Yes. But, uh, Can you share I, about this photo? This is in the Philippines, Makati. Whoa. Wow. He was in Makati. Some in- event. Oh, okay, that's that's good, ah. Huh? You you're the one who uh, introduced our country. No, 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 no. <laughs> you also bring uh, him to the special places here, also with you. <laughs> Or that's he was fine. very busy. <laughs> yeah, he was very busy. Oh, oh wow. okay. That's that's good, ano? So, uh, one part of our podcast is the wish. So, Coach Mike, can you ask our guest, our 100 special guest, uh, Coach you, what is your wish for Philippine football or maybe your personal wish that you would want to share to us? Do you have any? Uh, <laughs> which, of course, the we we are not able to win a, uh, Champions League. We didn't get any point. So 
of course, as a Kaya, we want to get three points. Mm. Also, Filipino football never play World Cup. So, hopefully, some uh, near future, Philippines will play Champions League, uh, World Cup. Yes. Wow. Uh, for me, my wish is for you to stay in the Philippines, to marry a Filipina, and then uh, have a family here in the Philippines, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's a good option, Coach Aris. So, Coach, you will be staying longer, no? I mean, he'll be uh, building his own family in the Philippines. So, Coach, you know... Um, all those uh, sharing, no, all those uh, informations that you've given us here in Football Life will be very, very much appreciated. And uh, all, the, all those coaches and players will be uh, getting something out of what you have uh, shared with, this, our, with our podcast. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having so me. So you keep safe. You have two days more. Before you can uh, fly, fly and go anywhere. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so, thank you very much. Thank and you. hope to see you when you return for the uh, next season. Yes. Coach Mike, okay. you want to yes. say something? Yeah, so again, thank you very much to all our viewers. Coach uh, you for giving time. So maybe we can uh, have a chat again soon. No, and uh, some sharing, and then uh, and good luck for uh, the next season for PFL, and see you in our uh, season five next year. Thank you very much, Coach Aris and Coach Yu. Thank you, Coach Yu. Congratulations. You. Congrats again, Coach Yu. Good luck. Thank you. Keep safe there in Japan. Thank you too. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thank you.